in the section lines and planes in space we are going to see how scalar and vector products can be used to write equations for lines line segments and planes in space first one is lines and line segments in space suppose we have to find the equation of a line l in space passing through a point p not x not y not z not parallel to a vector v equal to a vector i plus b vector j plus c vector k. Suppose p of x, y, z be any arbitrary point on the line L. Then we can see from the figure vector p not p is a vector parallel to vector v. So these two vectors must be scalar multiple of each other. Using this idea we can define L to be the set of all points P of X, Y, Z for which vector P not P is parallel to vector V. That is P lies on L if and only if vector P not P is a scalar multiple of vector V. The vector equation for the line through P not X not Y not Z not parallel to vector V is vector P not P equal to T vector V where t is a scalar minus infinity less than t less than infinity. From this vector equation we can deduce the standard parameterization of the line through the point p0 parallel to vector v. We know vector p0 p is x minus x0 vector i plus y minus y0 vector j plus z minus z naught vector k and vector v is a vector i plus b vector j plus c vector k. So from this parametric equation substituting vector p naught p and vector v we have the equation x minus x naught vector i plus y minus y naught vector j plus z minus z naught vector k equal to t times a vector i plus b vector j plus c vector k. Comparing the coefficients of vector i, vector j and vector k on both sides we have x minus x naught equal to t a, y minus y naught equal to t b, z minus z naught equal to t c. Thus the standard parameterization of the line through p naught, x naught, y naught, z naught parallel to vector v equal to a vector i plus b vector j plus c vector k is x equal to x naught plus t a y equal to y naught plus t b z equal to z naught plus t c minus infinity less than t less than infinity. One problem find parametric equation for the line through minus 2 0 4 parallel to vector v equal to 2 vector i plus 4 vector j minus 2 vector k. We have given a point on the line and a vector parallel to the line. So the point on the line p naught x naught y naught z naught equal to minus 2 0 4 from this we have x naught equal to minus 2 y naught equal to 0 z naught equal to 4. Also vector v a vector i plus b vector j plus c vector k is 2 vector i plus 4 vector j minus 2 vector k. So we have a equal to 2, b equal to 4 and c equal to minus 2. Substituting the values of x0, y0, z0, a, b and c in the standard parametric equations we have x equal to minus 2 plus 2t y equal to 0 plus 40 that equal to 40 and z equal to z naught plus tc which is equal to 4 minus 2t where minus infinity less than t less than infinity. Consider another problem find parametric equation for the line through p minus 3 2 minus 3 and q 1 minus 1 4. In this problem the vector parallel to the line is not given. We have given two points on that line. Since P and Q are points on the line, vector PQ lies on the line. So we can take 
vector v to be vector pq. So, vector v equal to vector pq which is equal to 1 minus minus 3 vector i plus minus 1 minus 2 vector j plus 4 minus minus 3 vector k which is equal to 4 vector i minus 3 vector j plus 7 vector k. So, a equal to 4, b equal to minus 3 and c equal to 7. We have given two points on the line. So, we can take any one of them choosing p to uh, p minus 3 to minus 3 as p naught x naught y naught z naught. We have x equal to minus 3 plus 40, y equal to 2 minus 3t, z equal to minus 3 plus 70 with the minus infinity less than t less than infinity. Instead of choosing p, if we choose q as p naught x naught y naught z naught, then the parametric equations will be x equal to 1 plus 40, y equal to minus 1 minus 3t, z equal to 4 plus 70. Both the parametric equation represents the same line since p and q are points on the line. Next is the parametrization of a line segment. To find the parametrization of the line segment joining two points, we first parametrize the line through the points. Find the t values for the end points and restrict t to lie in the closed interval bounded by these values. The line equations together with this added restrictions parametrize the line segment. Consider the problem. Parameterize the line segment joining the points P minus 3, 2 minus 3 and Q 1 minus 1, 4. Here we first we have to find the parameterization of the line first. Then we have to uh, add restrictions for T. In the previous problem, we have already find the line passing through these two points P and Q. This the uh, parametric equation of that line is found to be x equal to minus 3 plus 40, y equal to 2 minus 3t, z equal to minus 3 plus 70. Hence, any point x, y, z on the line is is Point x, y, z equal to minus 3 plus 40, 2 minus 3 t, minus 3 plus 70. Putting t equal to 0, we get the point minus 3, 2, minus 3, which is the point p. When t equal to 1, we get the point minus 3 plus 4, 1, 2 minus 3, minus 1, minus 3 plus 7, 4. This is the point q. Thus, we get the two endpoints on the line. So, t must be vary in between 0 and 1. So, the parameterization of the line segment is x equal to minus 3 plus 40, y equal to 2 minus 3t and z equal to minus 3 plus 70 with 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1. That is, uh, for the parameterization of a line segment, we just find the equation of the line and the add the restriction 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1.